Welcome to the VIPS how-to series. This video will show you how to use VIPS. Hi, I'm Emma and I'm going to show you how to do single cell seeding and in-well verification using the VIPS instrument. Verified in-situ plate seeding, or VIPS, provides single cell seeding and image-based clonality assurance. All you need is a 96 or 384 well plate, media, a cell reservoir and a VIPS instrument. Firstly, load the cell reservoir with the cell suspension in standard growth medium. Remove the lid to the cell reservoir. Tweezers can be used to help do this. Load your cell suspension into the cell reservoir using a stripette and a pipette man. It is important to carefully aspirate the cell suspension down the side of the cell reservoir, ensuring that you avoid bubbles. Install the cell reservoir into the VIPS instrument by first connecting the green tubing to the cell reservoir lid. Load the plate into the VIPS instrument and remove the lid. Single cells are dispensed into the well using low pressure to enhance outgrowth. The drop is imaged by rapid Z stacking and processed for automatic cell detection until the presence of a single cell is confirmed. Once a single cell is present, the well is filled with the media and the VIPS moves on to the next well. Instagrow cell growth supplements are used to boost colony growth during outgrowth experiments. So here we have some VIPS seeding results. Um, the green wells signify wells that have been successfully single cell seeded. Red wells signify wells that which have been over seeded and grey wells signify wells which are empty. I work in the cell line development lab at Salentum. I use the VIPS instrument every day to help validate new instruments and develop our current instruments. Um, my top tip for a customer would be to ensure that you have correctly optimised the seeding density for your cell line. This will ensure efficient seeding of your VIPS plates. And that's it. Simple as that. Thank you for watching.